Okay, and here is sculpt number 28 of my 31 Heads of Halloween Sculpting Challenge. And he's a big one. He's a big old fatty, this guy. Uh, he's, you know, oh, he's going to be almost three pounds The magic sculpt there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, but far from done. Uh, anywhere you see smooth fat rolls will be textured like the rest. But this guy is my behemoth. Lord of the Undead. He will be the fattest of fat zombies. He's got some guts hanging out of the bottom of his neck there. But I always this is my first fat zombie. This this guy here I sculpted whoo I don't know what it say. Well twenty seventeen I painted this one, so you know, almost five years ago. So he might be a six-year-old sculpt, my original fat zombie. But, you know, he's a little chap. He's quarter scale compared to the new big fatty. So we had to do the big and improved fatty. And then I did just sculpt the fat zombie a month and a half ago for one of my uh, Chaos Nurgle wall plaques. It's the Seven Souls of Nurgle. Um, but he's, like, even smaller than quarter scale, you can see. He's, like, mm, eh, six scale, I guess. So I like sculpting a fat zombie. But I figured I gotta do the big, big fat zombie. I gotta do at least one big fat zombie to go with the last year's scale. The big one, chunky one-third scale. Now, a lot of the sculpts this year are smaller than that, you know, because the times are tough and mold rubber and resin both went up 50%. So uh, a lot of this year's sculpts are, are a little smaller. There are still some big ones. This one, the Cyber Ninja. The man thing is going to be huge once he gets his whole bunch. So, but anyway, there you go. I digress. But I can want to keep going on this guy so bad. He still needs his eye droopy, crazy eyelids. He's going to get a droopy eyelid even in the hollow socket um, over the top of all the stringy weirdness. He's going to get a little bit of nose, but it's still going to be rotted out. Um, he will probably get an upper lip. Uh, he's definitely going to get a rotted out bottom lip. Um, he's definitely going to get a little bit of angry eyebrow. And then the whole top of his head will be fleshed and fatty and rotty and blistery. But he's kind of, you can maybe see it at this angle, he's kind of a test for Slimer. I, I was going to do a Slimer as part of 31, but now I'm running out of Magic Sculpt fast for building these big guys, partially because of Cyber Ninja, partially because of this guy. So I don't know if Slimer's going to fit in the 31 heads. He will be very soon, though, because I'm very excited to sculpt the Slimer, especially doing this guy. So Slimer is coming. I just don't know if I want to rush him and try and rush him into a a one-day, you know. Slimer may have to be a, a nice paste sculpt in a couple weeks. But really liking where this guy's going. Not sure if he's going to have hair yet. I know he's going to be bald. I kind of like the look of a of a bald, fat zombie. So he may stay bald, but he will have, if he does stay bald, he'll have a very detailed head. Um, I was thinking a little bit about putting him in an army helmet, like an old World War II army helmet. But I think he's just going to stand on his own in his glorious fat. Well, there you go. Thanks for looking. Stay safe out there. It's uh, 3.30 here. So I'm now going to put this guy aside and jump on to today's sculpt, which will be number 29. And I have no idea what that's going to be. Somewhere in the next 10 minutes, i got to figure out what today's sculpt is and start laying armature for it. So there you go. Thanks for looking. Stay safe out there, eh? Later.